So right now we are polishing the hood and Keith is getting a beer. There you go. Thanks. There's a beer. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I had it sanded down to about 1200 grit, and now we're polishing it down so I can start making a mold for it. Quick. That was pretty gross. Keith got done polishing the hood. I started out with a 400 grit and worked my way up to about 1200 grit, which as me and Keith discussed, we should have went up to a little bit higher grit, or I should have went up to a higher grit, up to about 2000 to 2500. But uh, anyways, I'll show you guys the uh, finished product as it sits right now. Um, after I get done with this, I'm gonna go and work on doing uh, two coats of uh, sealer when I get the mold flange and um, everything else like that set up for the uh, the gel coating, but uh, there's gonna be two coats of sealer, five coats of wax. Uh, that's uh, the mold release wax. But um, on this particular hood, when I got it, there was already hood pins put in place, which had two big massive holes and uh, eight smaller holes that I had to fill in with uh, bondo glass and bondo. Um, and I wet sanded all that and filled that in and there was also a small dent on the right hand side um, Which I'm about to show you guys right now, but uh, So far That's what it looks like and that's right where I filled in that and the small dent over there and This is what it Looks like now pretty much Good mirrored image after the gel coat fiberglass and the mold is released, I'll go ahead and repolish the mold and get uh, make sure all the imperfections are out of that mold. Hopefully, the hood's gonna be right around four to maybe in my heavy side of five pounds. Uh, but uh, we'll see how that goes, and I'm gonna see how I want to lay out the carbon to, for the best strength to weight ratio. But uh, look up Keith the edge detailing on Facebook and yes I will have the link in the description so you can hit him on up if you're in the Sarasota Bradenton area uh, he came over to my house and uh, did the hood and took care of that stuff but um, yeah